You know, I ask my four-year-old, Hazel, every day about what she learns in school. I, I ask her every day. And sometimes I'm met with, you know, she's four, so it's like, um, I played and and I'm like, what else? You know, tell me, tell me. And, you know, it's probably because she's tired or perhaps because I ask her every day and she's tired of me asking about her day. Um, but the other night, it was like she threw me a bone as I was putting her to bed. And she said, uh, hey, mummy, um, do you know how to get to Harlem? <laughs> and I just sort of stared at her dumbly and I said, how do you get to Harlem? And she goes, you take the A train, it's the quickest way. <laughs> and I was like, what? You know, and I said, like the Ella Fitzgerald song. She goes, yeah, Ella Fitzgerald. And I almost wept because Ella is like my jam, you know. And, and then I discovered that she was learning about the Harlem Renaissance at four. And oh, I've also been schooled on lava caves, never heard of them before. And the small bump on a baby owl's beak that it kind of uses to crack against the, the shell to birth itself. I mean, and then it falls off. I'm like, how? This is stuff I've never heard of before. And so it's sort of become apparent to me that I, that I ask Hazel every day what she learned at school because, well, I'm desperate to know cool stuff like that, mainly. But to learn from her and... I just sort of adore the look of delight in her eyes when she realizes she's teaching me something I knew nothing about. And she's just being nourished and inspired at school in ways I clearly can't keep up with. And I see in her and now in our youngest daughter too that they, they yearn to learn. They crave it in and in return, the world sort of lights up for them and invites them to absorb the infinite possibilities that are available to them.